Hey everyone, Shanox here, and in this video we're going to do a Torghast run. With the weekly reset, we have two more wings available, um, Fractured Chambers and Mordragar. I haven't done Mordragar yet, so we're going to do it together. Um, I've noticed that some people have trouble clearing the layer 3 solo, so hopefully this video will be able to help some of you guys. Uh, regarding my gear, I do have decent gear. Um, but yours can be even better because I didn't do the um, Mythic Zeros this reset, so if you do them you will have even better gear. Uh, as you can see I don't have any Legendary, as a matter of fact I didn't even uh, complete the quest yet. Um, and regarding my talents, I'm going with this. Uh, Premeditation might be better, but um, Weapon Master is fun, so I'm picking this and I don't mind refreshing Slice and Dice myself. Shadow Focus so I don't get energy starved during Shadow Dance. Deeper Stratagem, very good SLT, gives you a bit more room to maneuver your combo points. Soothing Darkness, so you are healed up during the fights, because you will often be in Shadow Dance. And um, this also allows you to heal up in between fights with your stealth, so you don't have to wait, which is good. Um, Prayer in the Wick is good, you won't stun too often, but when you do, you will do more damage, so that's great. And the other two talents are really useless anyways. Uh, Enveloping Shadows is just the best talent overall for everything you do SLT. Uh, in this expansion. And last row, I'm picking Master of Shadows because even though there is some AoE in the tower, I don't think Secret Technique is really that useful. So I'm keeping Master of Shadows for more single target damage. Uh, yeah, so no legendaries. My gear, already talked about it. Uh, let's go. This is a good anima power actually, it lets you deal a lot of damage with the rate, so I've actually never had it, but if you have it, mm, I suggest you pick it. So yeah, the um, first floors are very often the hardest ones, because you don't have any anima powers yet, so you are kind of weak. Uh, so it's okay if you do them very slowly, kill everything, get some um, phantasma and stuff. That way you can get some anima powers on floor 3, once you reach the vendor, and from this point onwards, it should be much easier, because you will have a really OP character, you will do a lot more damage, you will have some healings, you will have some stat procs. Um, so yeah, it will be much easier once you get some uh, anima powers. I think that this um, this wing is actually easier than the other wing available this week. Because I did the other wing um, just before this video, I think, yeah, Fractured Chambers. Uh, and in Fractured Chambers, the affix was that sometimes an assassin would spawn and attack me, and it dealt a lot of damage. It was really annoying. Uh, While well, this is just uh, some more damage taken, it doesn't really look hard. So, if you're watching this, be aware that uh, it probably is the easiest of the two wings this week. Thank you. 
combat with something, I have no idea what it is. Still. Alright, don't forget to pick these souls whenever you see some. Because this gives you a 1% agility buff. That stacks up. So by the end of the run you can have like 35, um, 25 of those or something. Uh, so that's a really good increase of damage. thing around the jars, it means that there is an anima power inside. Okay, this is really good if you're playing Kyrian. Uh, several other anima powers synergize really well with it. If you have all of them, your Kyrian ability becomes almost spammable and deals a ton of damage. Right, so there should be... There should be a rare upstairs. I've seen one once. Uh, I don't know if it always spawns. Doesn't look like it's here. No, it's not here. When it's here, it's still in the middle, so you don't see it. But uh, once you come up the chains, the Averin Carver will tell you that you are hunted, and then you know that there is a rare just here in stealth. And uh, when when there is a rare on your on your floor, if you kill it, you get an anima power that um, is related to which rare it was, and usually these are very OP. Um, this is good. It gives you Night Stalker. Um, Night Stalker is a really good talent too in PvE. Um, the only reason why we pick Shadow Focus now is because otherwise we're energy starved in Shadow Dance and we don't want that. But if we weren't energy starved in Dance, we would pick Night Stalker all the time because 12% more damage is really good.
so... Oh. That was super stupid of me. I would have lived if I hadn't autoed this guy. So you can play it more safe, right? Because uh, I died well, first because I, <laughs> I was stupid and I attacked a blinded target, but also because I pulled the entire platform. Um, like you don't. Okay, this is great. Like this is really great. Huge abyss rates. Uh, but yeah, you don't have to attack the entire platform at once. <laughs> I just did it because I don't want this to be too long. Um, but you can play a lot more safe and cool stuff. Um, little by little, just so you're sure you never die. You can also wait for your health, wait for your cooldowns, like you're not in a hurry. There is absolutely no timer. The only time you have to go fast is if you run out of death, then there is a big boss that will spawn and it will chase you. And if it reaches the if it reaches you, you will die and you will have to leave the, the tower. But if you manage to reach the next floor before it reaches you, then you're still in and it will keep chasing you. But as long as you finish the objective before it reaches you, so either next floor or kill the boss, then you're then you're safe. But as long as you still have uh, death available, uh, you're not on a timer. Oh, this is good, because uh, I think the pools are the thing that is on this um, wing of the tower, so if I pick this I'm immune, which makes it really convenient. So it's not really broken, but like, <laughs> it will make the run a lot more uh, pleasant, shall we say. There is one in stealth too, so if it spawns on me, it could kill me. There it is. So there is this here. I got one once in another wing. It allows you to use uh, grapple points. I've never seen a grapple point yet, so don't know how useful it is. Oh my god, this is so annoying. So apparently I can absorb this and it gives me a shield or healing. Is it healing? Yeah, it's only healing, sadly. Well, still good. Would have been better if it had been a shield.
So the color chests, I actually got that explained to me yesterday. Um, there are four things that you can click. One will change one color, one will change two, one will change three, and one will change all four. You don't know which, so you have to try. Um, so, and when you press the thing, sometimes it will remove the chains. Once you remove the chain that is in front of one school, so this chain correspond, um, is linked to this one, for example. And what is this? Uh, so once you do, you remove the chain that is in front of a school. If the color of the school does not change anymore, the chain will re the chain will remove uh, will be removed for like until you open the chest. So what you want to do is find which one changes all four colors. So now this one. Not this one. Uh, I think this one. Yeah. So now this one, it changes all four colors, and I have to remove the chain. So since this is the only one that uh, changes all four colors, it means that this color, as long as I don't click this, this color cannot be changed anymore. So the um, this chain will never be reapplied here. So now I have to find the one that changes three colors. So this one, this one, and this one. Looks like it is this one. I'll remove that chain. Again, as long as this isn't changed, it cannot be uh, reapplied. So as long as I don't click this and this, since this one changes all four and this one changes all three here, the chain cannot be put again. Now I just have to find which one changes two colors. So it is this one. Okay, so now as long as this color doesn't change, it cannot be put again. Actually, are these spawning endlessly or... Because I'm feeling like I killed a lot more than the number of one of uh, shades that vanished. So yeah, and the only one that remains, you click it until the chain is removed and uh, you get the chest. I don't know if that was clear. Um, I hope it was. Alright, 10 soul fragments means 10% more agility here. A very good power to pick. Shadow Dance is uh, very, very slow. Uh, all of these are bad. I'm gonna pick this just because this is more damage. And as for you have enough defensives. Some, some powers are really good defensively, but the, uh, the ones I had here were just average, and uh, I don't need something average this rogue. I have enough stuff to defend myself, so I'll just pick everything that deals damage. So, in case you've never done, tor you ah, sorry, in case you've never done Torghast yet, um, you oh there is a soul here. I'm gonna pick it. On the floor one and two, you have to fight. On the floor 3 there is nothing, so only anima powers and souls and stuff, and um, and the vendor that gives you even more anima powers in exchange for this currency here. Um, floor 4 and 5 you fight also, and floor 6 there is a vendor and the final boss. I don't think there is a soul here, I'm not gonna go. So here's the vendor, because we're on floor 3. Oh, actually, there was a soul here too. Oh, never mind. Uh, so this is good. It gives eviscerate more damage. So you pick it every time. Hello. Can it click? What is happening? Okay, so apparently I can't pick it. This is good. It's more stats. Okay, I can't pick anything. Huh. Okay, I got the issue. Understood. Uh, so mastery, really good for salty. Um, this is stats you want to pick it usually, and this is this is decent. Uh, you don't need to play around it, but every time you do a finishing move, you're next combo point generator. So shadow strike, backstab, or echoing reprimand if you're carrying will deal more damage. If you manage to proc it on echoing reprimand, it's really good because it's a very hard hitting ability. 
Otherwise, I mean, you don't play around it, you just deal more damage passively, this is great. Uh, I still have currency, this is not important. Uh, so when you have leftover currency, you can buy this. What this does is this allows you to spawn an anima orb with random powers. So sometimes they are bad and sometimes they are good. So that's not amazing. I'll pick this. Um, this allows me to use my little um, steward from steward from Kyrian, which I'll actually summon because I have no fails left. And he gains two more options. Um, heal me or buff me. Usually he doesn't have these options. Uh, so of course you can pick powers you already have, because like I already have that one here. You can pick those and they will just stack up. So now it's 200... wait, now it's 200% more damage. Right, so and you have to keep in mind that as you go up the floors, the affix goes up too. So now it's 9% uh, more damage. It was only 3 at start. But since you have more anima powers, usually it's more than fine. I don't really know where are the enemies. I guess I have to go inside this and it will send me upstairs, probably. Yeah. Uh-huh. Interesting. Oh, this this is really fun. Like it's not as good as it looks, but it's really fun. If you press Vendetta, Adrenaline Rush, or Shadow Blades, so this is what all specs, um, you gain all three. So now every time I'm gonna press Shadow Blades, which is my big cooldown of Salty, I will gain Vendetta on my target and I will gain, gain Adrenaline Rush in my buffs as well. So when I'm gonna use my burst on the final boss, it will just die. This is a... Um, This is a very interesting floor. Nothing to do. Free stuff. Uh, gain the Weapon Master talent. Uh, if you already have this, you may select another. So I already have Weapon Master. So now I'm I can pick premeditation. I talked about it at start. Um, that premeditation was really good, so getting this anima is actually good news because now I can have both. Right, so this is the first wing that I do, where there is a floor like this, where you have nothing to kill and you get a ton of powers doing nothing. This is really OP. So I hope that if you're doing this wing after watching my video, I do hope that you get the same floor. Otherwise it's a... Uh, <laughs> well, it's sad for you. I don't know why I'm even killing these, they don't give anything. I could just not kill them. So this is the end of the... Uh, this is the end of the floor here, with the gate. But we can go somewhere else with this. Oh, I'll just go to the end. But if you want to explore, uh, you would have gone here. Uh, 
Um, this is this is good defensively if you are carrying. Um, your steward's file um, gives you more health. In the end, if you stack it like two times, it becomes a really really big heal. So it is good. Like right now, it's forty five percent of my health thanks to this buff. Last uh, once I did a wing and I had three, so every time I used it, it was kind of lay on hands, which was really pleasant because I could not die. Okay, so when you see this on the floor, wait. When you see those keys on the floor, it means that there is a chest somewhere on the floor, and you need to pick three of these keys in order for it to be um, to be open. If you don't pick the keys, you will not be able to open it. See, a lock has opened elsewhere in this level. Um, the elsewhere is on the chest. Right, second key. Usually there are three, I think. The only time I've seen this, there were three keys. So yeah, we have to go on the chains. Oh, there is a trap here. Okay, so... When the soul carver says you are hunted, it means that there is a rare spawn very close to you. I don't know if I've already said it earlier in the video. I think I did it. Has to be somewhere around the spider, maybe on top of it. I don't know. See, I just used the, the um, serenity file of serenity, it just gave me so much health. Okay, so here is the chest, only one key needs to be found now, and the rare is here. Why am I dying? I'll just wait a bit so my health goes up uh, with this, and then I'll go. I'll use Shadow Blaze so you see uh, what it does. So see, Vendetta, and Adrenaline Rush. So when you have this, you just destroy everything. Okay, so... I don't think this is good, because if there is magic damage, I'm going to die. I'll pick this, because the affix in this tower is um, you take more magic, so I'd rather take less magic and a bit more physical than take a lot more magic. Uh, I just need to find the last key. Which probably is up there. here. So the chests are not extremely important, right? If you want to skip the chest, you just skip the chest. It's just to get, um, again, one more anima power. This is all it does, really. Maybe some Phantasma, I don't remember. Oh, am I going to die? Yeah. <laughs> well, that was uh, a bit stupid of me. 
wasn't focused. Also, there are some um, um, anima pirates that just make you run faster. Uh, if you have them and the other ones that you're offered are not that amazing, just pick the ones that make you run faster because like these runs are kind of long and like when you die or even if you don't die you have to run a lot if you're going faster it's just you know just better Just go for the key. Let's try this so it doesn't come to me. Why am I dying? Where is this? This one is seeing me, so I can't vanish. I'm in combat with something. Now we can open the chest because we've got all three keys. Uh, so I'll just do it so we see what's inside. And I pulled something. But never mind. Uh, but yeah, once again, you're not forced to open chests. And also, like, this floor was a bit annoying. The key was just up there. Like, the last time I found a chest in my run, the keys were on the way to the chest or just around it. So I didn't lose time by opening it. Right, so it's just an anima power. Okay, this one is actually really good. So I have this that I talked about the combination on the Kirin spell at start, and luckily I've had I've had it this run, so I can explain. So I have this um, that when I use the anima charge combo point, so the blue combo point that you sometimes see here, the finisher that uses the combo points behave behaves as if it consumed twenty, so more damage, more energy regeneration, and more. Um, cooldown reduction on Shadow Dance. I also have this, so if I consume the point, the spell is reset, so I can just use it again and use the points again. And now I also have this, it gives me full combo points and uh, full energy when I use it. So when you have all three of these, you just want to use that as much as you can. You use it, you try to consume the points, even if it means doing nothing for a couple of GCDs, then you use it again. Um, and you just destroy stuff. And also, since I have this, if I use a finisher and it resets this, and then I use this, it gets buffed by 200% thanks to that. So, you really want to just spam your carrying spell and you're going to kill everything very easily. If I do it well on the last boss, I'm just gonna melt it, I think. this damage is coming from. Oh yeah, so the affix actually goes both ways. So he has 12% more magic damage done, and I have 12% more damage, uh, magic damage taken. 
which is why I'm taking that much damage. Uh, okay. Uh, so yeah, this is what I was talking about. More speed. This is um, this is good because you know, otherwise the runs are quite long. But like, since I'm going for the boss now, it's not interesting, so I'm not picking it. I would have if it had been earlier. And yeah, on the boss floor, there is always a vendor, so you can actually buy even more powers. Um, so this critical strike damage, really good. This another buff to my um, to my combo point builder abilities. So now I have three hundred percent more damage. Uh, and now what do I pick? None of these are really good. I don't know if vanish. I actually never dared try vanish when I'm alone because I'm afraid it resets the guy. So I've never done it. Let's just pick this. It doesn't really matter. I think. So this one deals more damage. Um, I don't actually know the mechanics of this thing since I've never seen it. But yeah, as I said, like I had really, really OP anima virus and a legendary for assassination. Good news. Uh, so yeah, I just destroyed the boss. So you see, I've seen uh, posts on Discord and stuff where people have um, issues with final boss on layer 3. Well, as you can see, this fight was 12 seconds. So as long as you get decent anima powers, so you don't rush the levels, you pick anima powers, um, and you play a bit around them. But yeah. I mean, I have to admit that the ones I got this run were really, really above average. Like, at least above my average. So, this <laughs> this was actually easy. Um, but yeah, you can really destroy the boss. Some have mechanics that are a bit annoying. Or you just have to know them. Otherwise, they will kill you. Um, and yes, I got a legendary here. In case you do not know, the legendaries that drop from Torghast are 100% drop chance. So, this legendary is from this wing. First time I did the wing, I got it. Um, this is normal. This one is from the other wing this week. Um, Fracture Chambers. I got it as well. If you do it, you will get it as well. Uh, of course, they only drop on layer 3. But I think it's written. Um, it's actually written on the... Well, since I have them, there is not uh, like the drop sources and written. So let's look at this one. See? Um, Torghast, layer 3, Scaldus Halls. So next week, there will be Scaldus Halls. If you did layer 3 or more, you will get a Carousel Fragment for sure. Uh, so I guess that's it. So I do not know if this will be really helpful. I hope it will be. And if not, I hope that at least it was entertaining. Thanks for watching and see you next time.